I'm gonna um, I'm gonna finish up for the day. I, um, in many ways, this is sort of the the finish of probably everything that I have to say, and anything else I put up after this is just uh, extra credit, <laughs> right? No. Um, uh, the two things that I sort of forgot because I ran out of time on this darn phone, right? Um, that is always going to be very dear to my heart. Um, and that is that, I, that um, I may have mentioned this once before, but when I was about, um, somebody played a bad practical joke on me when I was in an engineering academy as a firefighter, okay? And I didn't like that very much. So, you know, Indians are going to put a, a mirror up and say, remember the golden rule, Okay. You need to be taught a lesson. Is that what you want to do? Trying to drain my energy by fucking with people? Is that what you do? Because you think that's funny? You know? Um, so you're always in student teaching mode, right? Um, but what they did out of that is because they thought that I was a valuable resource, right? It's always about you being an asset for them, right? Because this was U.S. Forest Service, which... You know, if you know who they represent, then you begin to realize they're another energy harvester, right? They cut down all the trees, all the living trees, right? Uh, make dead wood out of it and put people in that. And that, that's wire it up, Wi-Fi and all the rest of it and drain your energy. That's what they do. We live in living trees, okay? Not dead wood. Um, I don't anyway. Uh, you can live wherever you want. Um, and I hope that you're happy doing that, okay? And that really is the point. Okay, about what it means to restore and what it means to experience the real universe because when I was a small child, okay, um, two things I noticed about myself and this is what they noticed about me when they did a complete psychological and physical evaluation on me to get a report and say, what's going on with this guy? Okay, so I was in a hospital for about six days, fully paid for by the U.S. Forest Service. They did a complete physical and emotional evaluation on me. And... Um, what came out of that was uh, I got a copy of what's called Yours, I Don't, Your Eyes Only. They said, uh, Robert has a significant amount of underlying rage. However, he's able to keep his emotions under strict control, which is non-reactive. Okay? So where does all the rage come from? So I have to dump anger all the time. Okay? And why do you think that is? Uh, because believe it or not, everything that they do to the girl on this planet, I feel it. Okay? And I cry like crazy. Because of how much I love her. Okay? Because I know what it's like to sit out on a surfboard where the water's 100 feet deep and see how clear it is and pure it is. And be able to surf our waves. Look upon the poly cliffs on the island of Kauai and know I'm living in paradise. She's giving you paradise. You want to destroy paradise that I live in with my goddess? How dare you? Right? So I was pissed off when I was a little kid. Okay? Because it's not like you don't know. that All that information comes preloaded. Otherwise, how else are you going to be able to fight a spiritual war with these demons and vampires, right? So um, I have to dump that a lot. Okay, so I know how to do that. I go be with her, and I cry, 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 and I cry. And then what I do is I imagine how much she must cry because of what they did to her, which is no different than raping a girl. Just scale it down a little bit. She's just a bigger girl, right? So for me, it sort of starts like this. I think of a beautiful woman who's in this planet going to school, and she's a spiritual war that I hang out with. Right? And she's going up in the classrooms, right? And someday she's going to be just like Guy, have it with a classroom of her own, right? So when I'm with a girl here in this classroom, I treat her no different than I would live with the same love that I give a goddess who's running this planet. Because <laughs> for me, they're one and the same. Not really in terms of energy, but in terms of how much love I give them, it's the same. Which is all my fire, all my light, right? Because. That's the universe you want to live in with that much fire, which is that much passion, that much compassion, and that much empathy that you have for everything that we give love to that we create with infinite imagination, right? Okay. 
So now you begin to understand who I am and the relationship I have with her and why it's the way that it is. Okay? Because I think in terms of pure spirit, pure fire, no contamination, which is purified. Purifying your spirit. Right? Now, if you can imagine what it would be like to be with her in a purified state. Okay? I know how to do that. I've done that within myself, and that experience is there because it's all in living color and soul and spirit to experience what it's like to experience what that is. Because I've experienced being in a pure state. That's what happened after I had a Kundalini. Okay? Which is why after that, because they were hammering the place with nanotech, I, I just went and says, I'm done. You know, I'm going to go hang out with some big, powerful volcanic energy, even though, as Patty told me, that's a Draco stronghold, and there is a lot of dark energy on that island, and I'm hoping that it, a lot of it has been cleared off. Which is why I, I thought that uh, I would finally end up over on the North Shore of Kauai, because that's where the biggest love pipe I've ever felt since I've been here on this timeline is. Now, having said all that, um, when it comes, I didn't get a chance to finish making peace with Mother Earth, and this is really true. And that is the true nature of a healer, or if you will, you're measuring where you are in the cosmos, and, and that's this. And I thought to myself when I was a kid, I'm not supposed to be experiencing this. I'm not supposed to experience lower energy than what I am no matter where I go. So the only way that I can return to what I'm familiar with, which is the real universe, which is what I am, that I live in with my light and my soul, is i got to restore everybody on the planet. Unless I just want to hunker down and be in a small little pocket reality or go live in a forest like with Hansel and Gretel or go live in the redwoods and just hang out there for my whole life. And I never experienced anything less than that higher powerful energy being in the redwoods. And I suppose I could have done that. Anybody can go do that. And then I wouldn't be aware of everything else that everybody's going through, right? But that's not my timeline. That's not how that worked out. So the point is, is that if we're going to be in compliance with love as a law, because love is a law on this planet, right? And it be begins with Sophia, okay? Then that means that as long as I'm here, okay, and I'm experiencing anything less than what love is within me as a result of what I'm experiencing, the energy in somebody else that isn't in alignment with those waves, then we have to restore them in order for me to be in compliance with the law. And I'm not a lawbreaker. Not when it comes to love as a law. Okay? That's what it means to have honor. That's what it means to honor the matriarch. That's what it means to honor the mother in this planet. Okay? Because look at, look, look at everything that she gives everybody. That's what hurt me the most. You know, when you're born out of a mother, okay, you have, how can anybody not know that had it not been for the unconditional love that your mother was giving you, you wouldn't have survived childbirth. And you certainly would not have been able to feed yourself after you come out of her womb. She's got to take care of you. That's the energy that she's using to do that with because you can't do it yourself, for yourself. So when you turn around and you decide that you now want to beat your mother up and rape and pillage her, something's certainly wrong with that picture, isn't it? Why would anybody want to do that to their own mother? Because the mother that is in this planet is giving you everything for free. Everything. The oceans, the air, the water, the land, the soil, everything that is here. Because she loves all of you. This is her classroom. This is a girl who graduated at some point in time, okay? To become what she is now that we're experiencing with her. So as I explained to somebody about 15 minutes ago, and he got it because he's a surfer. He'd been and knows a lot of the people that I hung out with that love to be out in the big waves experiencing juice. And it took me about 15 minutes to get him up to speed. He got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured he'd probably get it because he's a high wave trans. He's a high speed transmitter. So when you're picking up on somebody that's already running a high-speed wave, 
it isn't isn't going to take long for him to be able to perceive because the perception of the universe that he knows he's li he lives in is already huge.